this is a quiz application that uses technologies such as Java, JSP, Java Server Pages, JSTL, Java Server Pages Standard Library, uh, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So the functionalities that were required is first, we should have a home page like this where you can log in and register. And we'll hit first with the first one with uh, register so we can both go to the registration form with create an account or registration and let's register a new user let's say a clark at clark.com and a password one two three four okay now once we registered okay uh, i should have added a navigation bar there but that's fine and now let's try to go back to the home and log in clark at clark.com one two three four okay now, we'll be greeted with this page, three types of quizzes. Um, this is the home page. We have three types of quizzes. Each quiz has 10 questions. Um, it's randomized. <coughs> we'll start with uh, this quiz, all right? Uh, let's see if we can check the randomize here. The use of scripting elements in JSP. Okay, hit back. Okay, you see it's a random question every time. Okay, now a user can start a quiz. Um, and then it, he can choose um, basically choices, right? So a couple of them you can just choose and navigate previous and next. Okay, we can change our answers, right? And once we get to the last one, we should have added a user prompt, but for now, um, the first iteration should be like this. <coughs> it gives us our um total score right away right it would show us the selected answer and the correct answer as you can see you get one score and zero score if um, you did not choose the correct answer okay so that was this quiz screen and this is the quiz results screen the next is we can basically give a feedback to that quiz and let's say we can give a reading of four and say the quiz was practical but not an entry level quiz. Okay, you can now hit submit. And that's sending it back to the database. Okay. A couple of things to add. So let's say there's a validation here. And also if it's not an existing user, let's say, uh, Oh, add and we get the incorrect username over the password right so we do have those error messages and we also have a contact form right um, when we log in as well um, we can basically check a user profile um, we have a room for that right just to check that we have those and the session ID okay as far as the lessons learned, um, again, um, I learned that uh, JSP is quite, uh, uh, needs some more um, workaround to basically get the session. If you're gonna do a dynamic um, radio buttons, basically, that's what the biggest um, obstacle is. So going full JavaScript uh, really made it so much easier, but further iteration of this, uh, with the hopes of making it a full JSP, JSTL. Okay, thank you. So our database um, EER diagram looks like this, right? For a quiz type, um, basically there's uh, one to many relation. One quiz has many questions. One question has many choices, right? Um, a user can have many results. A quiz can have uh, many feedback okay um, and the tables and columns um, are are these properties okay so in my our mysql um, we can check to see the get 10 random questions like this so we want to have the questions table i mean sorry quiz type table joined with the questions table and the choice table when basically uh, on their foreign keys, right? And this is question ID, question 
uh, description choice description choice ID and if it's the answer so if you execute the query we'll see something like this right um, the question ID description choice is the answer or not correct or not uh, just the ID and the description for that choice okay this is our entry point the index.jsp so when we do localhost slash app slash which is the root this is what we get so it's also a login form and we have a navigation bar at the top right and we can go to the same flow a while ago where we have the navigation bar at the top we chose register registration it calls the register that uh, dash form and basically this controller would catch that and basically would serve us the register form dot jsp and once we are now in the register form jsp um, we can basically add the details and do a post request to this uh, url to that resource slash register and this will this servlet would catch that right and we'll do a post request using the parameters right uh, if it exists it will show an error right and then give you back to the registration form if not uh, it will let you log in and basically redirect you to slash login right uh, slash login now would uh, give you this one okay actually before that we do want to redirect the user to the login page right which is this one and fill in the details and do a slash login post request right again slash login dash form sends us the login form and once we do a post request it goes here okay if it's a correct username then we can um, proceed right it will now give us the slash home okay slash home what it does is um, set up the um, the data it gets data from the database and basically puts that to the session right and then uh, retrieve the home dash page which is this servlet and this servlet would give us the home.jsp the home.jsp would now parse through the uh, data that we got from the database to show us the three different types of quizzes right so as you can see uh, this one right um, once we choose a quiz type it will basically do a get request right and that gets request with this slash quiz um, URL and it will go to the uh, not that one quiz servlet right the quiz servlet now would check for session attributes and use that and basically forward it to the quiz dash screen right uh, the quiz dash screen is this servlet and it will give us the quiz screen dot JSP, which is this one. Okay, uh, this um, JSP file is kind of lengthy, but what it does is it's a JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, right? And what it basically does is show us uh, one question at a time with navigations before and next, right? Now the question is where do we retrieve those? Um, we basically uh, created another one, uh, which is um, as you can see here. Uh, in this part, it would say that um, we populated the questions here, right? Um, and then it's basically an Ajax get request to uh, quiz, right? And we parse that, ignore the, those console logs for now, parse that and basically create those uh, choices, right? Each questions with choices, okay? Uh, and then where does we get this slash uh, quiz JSON which is this one so we do have a servlet that uh, gets uh, the questions in the form of a JSON so that it's easier for us to parse it in JavaScript as um, it's a struggle to basically get the attribute from the J session um, and basically parse that to JavaScript okay um, so going back we are now in the quiz screen right so once the user choose a radio right they can click next or go back so if they keep hitting next if we are now at the um, total questions the current question 
is now equal to total questions, right? After that for loop, and then we can basically show the results of the score, which tallies like how many correct scores we get. Okay, as you can see with the score, okay, we're retrieving those. And after we're done, um, we're gonna check the answers. Yes. And then these are the next and click functions. At the bottom, we can basically have a, a function that sets the value for that one, okay? For when we submit. Next is we check with the get feedback. The get feedback is around, um, hold on, around here, right? So we now have access to, want to access the feedback form. And the feedback form dash form is this servlet and gives us the feedback form that JSP, which goes to here, right? And again, we can choose a rating, a star, and basically a comment. And when we hit submit, as you can see, we make a post request to slash feedback resource. And then this servlet would catch it and basically would uh, insert that to the database and give us a successful sent feedback. Right, this is adding it to the database, and as you can see, the structure for this one is the the domain has a quiz, uh, a quiz has a list of questions, and the questions has a um, list of choices, and we have choices, a choice, right? And this is the feedback domain, right? Tagged to the certain quiz type, rating and description. The user domain looks like this: our username and email password. And list of results, right? The results looks like this. And actually, we are not using this for now. We are using the feedback. Apologies for that. The quiz JSON, we have this, right? To basically create uh, create that uh, JSON properly. And the different data access objects, right? We have the user to check the credentials, to get user ID, check if user exists, to add a user. Uh, this is to retrieve a certain quiz type, uh, uh, to retrieve all the quiz types. Uh, this is to basically um, give a JSON response for all the questions for a quiz. And this basically can get us one quiz. A question can give us uh, 10 random questions. So here we're doing the randomize, right? Random limit 10. And we basically add choices to those as well. And this is basically mapping it to the JavaScript. So we kind of have like this uh, extra code. So this one, ignore this. Uh, feedback, uh, insert to the feedback table. Choice, uh, basically we want to retrieve, right? We do a select. Okay, so that's about it in the code base.